God, wait, what are you doing? Are you okay? I don't squee off it. I'm like, uh, no, I'm like, I'm like the internet's most uh, w interesting man, or I don't often squee, but when I do, it's for a From Software game. There's a brand new Jason. Uh, yeah, Jason, look. Yeah, yeah. It's fucking Elden Ring, man. It's but been so long. Is it's been so long. Yeah, uh, I, I'm, 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 uh, would you please put your pants back on? No. What, what I, is, I refuse. What is hap, okay, I don't know anything about Elden Ring. I know uh, everybody's talking about it, uh -huh. and I just kind of ignored it on purpose. Uh-huh. And, and then, like, the more <laughs> buzz that I heard that it was cool, uh -huh. then I ignored it even harder. Sure. Because I was like, because here's the thing, Jeff. I've had my heart broken before. Well... I have two. It was called Sekiro and <laughs> Dark Souls Three and a lot of other things. But I like I like this one. I uh, I've already obviously played a whole bunch of it. But welcome, welcome everybody, welcome. It's the Dojo. I'm Jeff. I'm Jason. Uh, it's, uh, I think the last time, yeah, the last time was Dark Souls Three, and that was in 2016. And then the Sekiro came out, mm -hmm. and now there's Elden Ring. And this is really interesting because this is uh, from software. Doing Dark Souls, written by George R. R. Martin, mixed with Breath of the Wild. So, what? yeah, we'll get into it. Who do you uh, here? I'm going to show you all the characters. You pick the character. I don't give a shit anymore. Okay, uh, let's so do the, the first one. Uh, Vagabond. Vagabond. Looks cool. Yeah. Well, hold on, hold on. Okay. We got Vagabond. We got Warrior. We yep. got Hero. Oh. We've got Bandit. Oh, cool. We've okay. got the Astrologer. Oh, nice. Okay. We've got the Prophet. Right. Uh huh. Okay. They got the toilet toilet neck. Yep. Yep. Samurai. Ooh. Yep. Yeah. Prisoner. Oh, this is fucking man in the iron man or woman in the iron mask. Yeah. The confessor. <laughs> and the wretch. wretch. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend the wretch. I'm playing a wretch, but the wretch is like super is, hard. It's the one. It, okay. Most of these characters start at like a level. Okay. Like uh, if you say like this, you could see like these guys start at level nine, level six, and their stats are already distributed. The wretch starts at level one. They have all tens. They're the most customizable character, but they literally start with underpants and a stick. <laughs> and uh, it take it took me like three hours to get equipment in the game. So I normally play as that class, but. I wouldn't recommend it for what we're doing here. Okay. What what which one of these strikes your fancy? Man, I don't know. They all look really cool. I yeah, love I, I, I'll tell you. Okay, so this is like a sword guy. This is like a a, a dex sword guy. So mm -hmm. like a fancy flippy sword guy. They got two swords. Cool. Okay. Uh, this is like a barbarian. So okay. they got the axe. This is like a thief. This is a wizard. This is a cleric. This is a samurai. This is a weirdo who's like um, other, uh, yeah, like <laughs> kind of a spell sword. Yeah, and then this guy is like a spell sword, but like, like a faith spell sword, like paladin. Yeah, like a paladin. Yeah, right. Okay. So, uh, and then you've got nothing. Yeah. So, wh who? Do, what do you? What are you feeling? What do you want? Um, uh, I'd recommend somebody that has something, but I'm more than willing to try whatever no, you feel let's like. Let's not it. do wretch. Let's do prisoner because that, prisoner. That okay. Weirdo helmet is working for me. <laughs> yeah. All right. Do you want a lady? Do you want uh, type A or type B? <laughs> don't care. <laughs> okay. Let's just do. Did tell me when to stop. Don't stop. All hey, right. Type B. All right. Let's see. What's a good. What's a good lady name? Um, Gr Grizz. How about uh, Grizz Merelda? <coughs> Merelda. There we go. Grizz Merelda. That works. Okay. That's why they put her in prison because her name was so stupid. Grizz Merelda Shitterbon. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as with all Souls games, Age. you can make them more Aged. aged. I mean, like, okay, we, you know, uh, and then for keepsake, you know, you got a bunch of these things. They always let you pick one of these. I haven't looked at all these. I like the fact that there's just a shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm going to take the shrimp. Yo, Grismerelda, I'm going to Red Lobster before yeah. he got thrown in. Grismerelda got real sassy in a Red Lobster and then got thrown in the uh, in the slammer. Uh, so she keeps uh, this as a, she's got a, a prawn. We're gonna throw these shrimp. So then like you've got around these her neck <laughs> that are like kind of like base things. Um, oh, okay. Uh, to any of these? Oh my goodness! Is wait? Is Grismerelda Loretta's no, like grandmother? No. Is that what's going on? No, here? no, no. Grismerelda <laughs> is very, very different. That's which? Uh, who should we be then? Should which? Go uh, the, look at the draconian again. Draconian. That's like a drow. It looks like a drow. Yeah. Okay. I think. Wait, actually, I think Jason. I think. Yeah, I think you could just like okay, is there? Yeah, I mean we could just like oh yes, fucking you know oh yeah, all right, it's time for Evil Hulk, Esmeralda. <laughs> oh no, wait, dude, do, do it, do it, do it, do it, that one, that one, yes, um, yes. I don't think we have time to do this. Actually, we, we could don't. just let's see, we could do 
Oh, wait, that's Zoom. Uh, hold on. We can do... Oh, the big big head. Big head. Big head. Uh-huh. Little, little... Little chest. Little everything else. Oh, it's adjusting the head. Oh. Uh, big fat... Why don't they let me make an actual fat person? No. Tiny arms. Just real... Oh, yeah. man, they're skipping it. They're well, keeping it. Why won't it. you let us make freaks? <laughs> body hair They're, color. Hair suit. Go to why why is there no why is there not a lot of body hair? Oh wait, we can do that. Yes! Oh she's got like white hair. So uh we could have like a separate body hair cut. We have to stop. We have to stop. Uh Fine. That's gonna be fine right there. I okay. think Grismerelda. Grismerelda. The hairy red Hulk lady. Um, all right, you ready? You ready for stories? You ready for big story time? Dom? I'm ready. Okay. Uh, okay. So, Elden Ring. No, I'm not. Grismerelda. No, not you. Oh, the game is gonna. I don't get to tell a no, story. No, the game is gonna say it. Fuck you, then. I had a good one. <laughs> I had a good one about Grismerelda. You're like, fuck you, George R. R. Martin. This yeah. is my. I saw season ten of Game of Thrones. <clears throat> all right. <laughs> so George R. R. Martin wrote this. Yep. Man, <laughs> it's good he doesn't have anything else to do. Yeah, apparently, like, the la the last book in Game of Thrones came out before Dark Souls 1. <laughs> what? Pull that up a little bit there. Oh, Pull that up a little bit. No, it's like, keep pulling it. Make that. There you go. There we go. Yeah. So, what's really interesting about this, Jason, is that... Okay, I don't know how much you know about this, but, like, you got, like, Demon Souls, right? Yeah. And that whole thing. And then you have Dark Souls. And Dark Souls is kind of like a remake of Demon Souls okay. in a lot of ways. Like okay. it's a very similar themes. And then Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls 3 were like story sequels to Dark Souls 1. This is more like similar kind of like it's all about cycles and like a ruined kingdom and the, uh, the perishing of the lords and like the land is corrupted. But it's like they're starting over again instead of leaning on all the bullshit from Dark Souls, which I like. Okay. Demigods. Um, because yeah, you've got a bunch of these weird gods, and they've got the pieces of the Elden Ring. I love it. Okay. And, and then of course you have to go get them, which means fucking axing these fools, murking these fucking fools. Hey, dude, this is a family show. Don't I don't want to hear about your fucking taint, His bro. Taint's mad. <laughs> it's a very angry taint. Oh my god. Put your pants back on. <laughs> Rawr! <laughs> the mad taint. Has anybody ever written a fictional story about a talking taint? I mean, I've seen talking buttholes and talking penises. There uh -huh. used to be a website in the early days of the internet called Mr. Penis Monster. Okay. And uh, it was really gross. And uh, there's like vagina de tanta and stuff. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what about a, stuff like that. What about like a taint with googly eyes I on mean, it? There, just, I don't think anyone has really... I think that lady might lose <laughs> against that fucking two-story tall man. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a big sword and shit, but like... Oh, whoa. All right, George, fucking calm down. <laughs> That's a lot of skeletons. Or people with, like, sheets on them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, did you guys not invent did the burying yet? <laughs> did, did you not invent... Uh, Oh cutscenes? What the hell? With animated cutscenes? No. Are we just gonna? Yeah, it's it, it's yeah. just mostly this. We're just gonna pan across screenshots like we're Ken fucking Burns Ooh. talking about jazz or America's great parks. Jazz. I want to see a Ken Burns documentary about the Elden Ring world <laughs> Dark or about Souls. Dark Souls. <laughs> Look at this guy though. Yeah. Dung eater. Look loathsome at dung eater. Everybody's throwing poop at him, and he's like, "I like this. I like poop. Look at look at those ears." Oh my God! He's got he's got a bed of ears. Jason, why don't I have a bed of ears? I didn't know that was a thing. You want a bed of ears, Jeff? I can get you a bed of ears. You, sh <laughs> you should have said something because I just I'm on Modern Rogue. I got access to a lot of ears. I've got access to ears. <laughs> like Alibaba, you can get all the fucking ears you want. I uh -oh. swear. Okay. The fur to pygmy, so easily forgotten. That would just be Dark Souls one. Uh. I know who that is. You do? <laughs> well, that's is, is Red it? Hand. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. So Grismerelda yeah. was birthed from the bastard union uh -huh. of, of the mad taint of, of a, a, a simple shopkeep uh -huh. and a, a ravenous and powerful yet seductive mad god. Okay. At giving birth <laughs> to our bastard prisoner, uh -huh. Grismerelda. Gris, what was Grismerelda's crime? 
uh, being the bastard uh, child of oh. a mad god. Oh, okay, that's against the law. Yeah. That, How dare you? That bastard mad god? How dare you, madam? That bastard mad god's name? Uh-huh. What was Elmo. It? Oh, no! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's the Look squad of Elmo. Yeah. Oh, my God, it's all coming together. In Elden Ring, yep. Elmo is one of these mad... mad <laughs> Elmo's taint is mad. <laughs> I just want their... <laughs> I just want there to be a boss thing where it's like the mad god Elmo. Elmo's <laughs> mad god taint. Uh, his power emanates from his taint. So, okay, uh, Jason, I'm going to kind of hit the fast forward button a little bit on this um, because you got to go into this place and then there's uh, they, they're doing the Souls thing where like the first thing that happens is a giant boss comes out and whoops your ass. And I know there's no way I'm going to win against them because I'm not good enough at this right now. Like I just got started on this. Yeah. So I'm just going to let this motherfucker beat my ass. Uh, but... It's also, it's a spider made of people. Oh! It's a people oh spider. God. Named well, <laughs> that's horrific. Uh, but I'm just going to let it kill me because uh, it's, as you can see, it's fucking crazy monster. So that's ins- <laughs> Why did you just let it kill you? Because you ha- uh, th- because this is, this is like the beginning of a lot of Souls games where you die and then the game starts. Uh, like, oh, right. Like, you're not supposed to win that. You can. In fact, a lot of people do, and they mm. sit there and chip away at it for 20 minutes to kill it. Oh, But I'm yeah. not good enough for that anyway, so. And it's not necessary. Yeah. Right? You just kind of do it when the time comes. Yeah. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. So apparently that guy just, like, threw us down in the, in the the with the dung eater or something. I don't know what we're, where we are, what we're doing. Uh, you... You know, between the mask and the water, I feel like we're dead. <laughs> the yeah. mask is full of water. You like, know, the oh inside of that mask probably smells funky. As somebody who's had to wear a mask for a couple years now, <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God, I hope you brushed your teeth before you put that mask on for the first time, because you're going to be smelling that shit for a while. Well, hello. Hello, horned horse. Yeah. Sorry, Torrent. Fortune is on her side. Mm. Okay. Is our horse's name BitTorrent? Right. The fucking horse? Fucking anime waifus? Hey, what's up? Her kind is sure to seek the Her kind? Ring. You mean part <laughs> Muppet God? <laughs> <laughs> they mean tarnished. Mm. Um... I know you weren't we weren't paying close the, attention to the very beginning. In the darker times. Yeah. When Elmo ascended <laughs> and claimed the magic of the stars. I want this video to be copyright claimed by fucking Children's Workshop Incorporated. <laughs> he started uh-huh. with the poor denizens of Sesame Street. Oh man. In the end, oh. after the battle. Oh. Only Mr. Hooper stood against him. All right. He enslaved Mr. Hooper. <laughs> oh, no. And implanted him with Manamana puppets. Mana- oh, no. Yeah, so that Those they are... could gestate uh, in so, uh, Mr. Hooper's chest. I like this, Jason. Um, you can go down here and do the tutorial if you want. And what you get for it is that up there, which is a gesture. Uh, or you can just be like, nah, fuck that. I know how to play this game. I'm going to leave. Um and you could just go and play the game. Okay. So the tutorial, a lot of the previous Souls games have like a whole uh, area that's like a tutorial area. Uh, this one, you can just fucking go out into the world and go crazy. So here, these are your bonfires. They're called Lost Grace. And you can like sit down at them and you get all your health and shit back. Yeah, uh, this is all very familiar. They're using mm-hmm. a lot of uh, mechanics. I'll tell you. Oh, a lot shit. Of familiar mechanics. We didn't do. Yeah, I know, dude. Just give me the fingers. Give me the fingers. What? The fingers are how you like call people into your game and stuff. Um, so there are a couple of things here that are drastically different than uh, Dark Souls. Okay. Uh, one of them is you have a dedicated jump button. In fact, you might see me jump a lot because the button that you use for jump is the same button that you used to use to do everything. Open doors, pick up items. Oh, <laughs> it's been a real pain in the ass to unfortunate. remap you, my muscle memory. Can you just remap the buttons? Uh, I don't want to. I mean, I just want to. I'll play it the way that they intended. Okay. Uh, but what the th- one of the things you could do is, like, you, so you've got your normal attacks, right? Uh, but then you can also do jump attacks, uh, which are more powerful. Um 
And then you can also do this thing, but I don't have a shield, I don't think. Let's see. Do I have a shield? Oh, I do have a shield. Okay. So I'll, I can show you, but there's a new thing. Oh, what the fuck is all that? There's a butthole on my shield? Uh oh. That's, uh, that's, that's yeah. That is. <laughs> also, uh, I didn't realize that Grismerald's sword was like mm. eight feet long. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the uh, the shield is uh, representative of Elmo's nether regions, from which oh, many oh. people draw power. Oh. The taint of Elmo. The that's taint. Actually, the shield is mod. The leather. mad taint is is actually Elmo's mad taint. It is. Uh, it, no, that, yeah, that's what I was saying. It, it, that's where he draws his power from. His is his, his, his mad his, taint. His angry nether region between his. His butthole and his his little Muppet genitals. Okay, so so Jason, the whole thing here, yeah, is that like there are a bunch of Dark Souls dungeons, and in between there's a giant open world overworld. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, so you can like, and there's like little dungeons, and there's little places where you can go to find new equipment. And there's like random mobs around and stuff. So like, if you get to a place in the game and you're you're not strong enough to get through it. Mm -hmm. You could just like go out in the open world and fuck around. Like, see that guy down there with the fucking horse? Yeah. I've been trying to beat that guy for a day and a half. But <laughs> I, I just need to level up some more. But, um, but yeah, you could just go out and fucking go out into the world and run around and do stuff and find stuff. So it's less directed than Dark Souls 1 or 2 or even Sekiro or Bloodborne was because it's not just like a bespoke level. It's like this big place. And so you can like, you know, you can go kill this fucking sheep. Yeah. And then you can like take his bones and make darts out of them and then make those darts shoot at somebody. Yeah, it's good that uh, a, a Souls-like game gives you something that you can actually defeat early on in the game. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like, uh, you were walking up to that sheep or whatever the hell that was that you just killed and I was like, well, what horrible nightmare is this going to turn into Actually, to ruin is, Jeff's day? Is there another sheep around here? Because the sheep do something and I don't know why they do it. Are there some more sheep? Let me see if I can find another sheep. Uh, <laughs> uh, what? Uh, those are some birds. I got I, I to find them. The, uh, it was the most insane thing. I just don't want to get too close to that fucking horse guy because he's going to rock my lights off. Uh, are those? It certainly is beautiful. Oh, okay. So here's the sheep. Okay, now watch what happens with the, sh with the sheep. I'll see okay. if he does what I think they're going to do. So you run up to the sheep. You're like, ha-ha, sheep. I got your ass. I will get you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, Jason. I don't know why. I they fucking roll up in a ball and drive away from you like the movie Rubber. I don't know why the sheep. What? Just what? I don't know. I have no idea why the sheep do that. Um, I yeah. That looks yeah. That looks suspiciously <laughs> like some sort of weird uh, cyberpunk glitch. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know? No, I. But like, it's it's too uh, it's too specific. Um, oh, the other really cool thing about this game uh, from the very beginning is that you can kit the map here, and you just like teleport to any of the previous places that you've been. Like, they finally got uh, away from, like, the whole, you have to get, th you have to play two-thirds of the game to get an item, or you have to, you can only go between bonfires. It's like, you just be out in the world, and you're like, oh, I need to go to the shop, and you just, like, teleport to the shop immediately. Oh, well, okay. Um, so, uh, and Santa Claus is here, apparently. Santa! He's a traitor. A, a trader, trader. not a traitor. Right. Um, it's like in uh, Narnia when Santa Claus go, uh, shows up and is like, here, have a bunch of weapons. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, okay. Yeah, 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 guys. I wish I could I wish I'd just turn this shit off. Um, my my ex-girlfriend used to go, it's not Santa Claus, it's Father Christmas. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> That's Santa Claus. So the other thing is that you can, like, you can go out in the world and just do whatever you want to, but you see how there's, like, the little, like, golden stream in the air right there? Yes. Yeah. Whoa, wow. Wait, look. Okay. Yeah, yeah you see I that? See it now. Yeah. So that's directing you towards, like, the main story plot. Oh, cool. And also, okay. if you go to the map, you can see that it has just, like, arrows, oh, basically. Oh, nice. Okay. So you can okay. just go wherever the fuck you want to, or you can just follow the fucking arrows and go to the main story how plot. How much of this open world is open to you right now? Uh... I don't know if there's more. I know it zooms out this far. Uh, I haven't gotten past the first, like, major boss in the game yet because it actually takes a while. And because there's a huge open world, you can just spend a billion years, like, wandering around doing shit, which is what I'm doing just to, like, find out. Like, <sighs> one of the things that the shop guy sells is a little... Oh, there's a turtle. There's a little... Um, 
uh, a little note that says like, hey, there's a cathedral. If you take the main road and then you go north, you can find a cathedral and there's a, one of these flasks at the cathedral. And so I took like 15 minutes and I rode out and I fought some guys and I went to the cathedral and there was totally this crazy upgrade that was great. And I was like, oh, cool. So now I'm just like wandering around. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently murdering people that are just hanging out. Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. He was going to murder me first. So uh, Is he a bad guy? Yeah, these or guys just are somebody you murdered. These guys are all hostile. They're like, okay. Uh, so one of the other things that you can do that's brand new is you can actually go into stealth. Yeah. So um, you can actually walk right up behind people and like rub your face up into their butt. And they yeah. don't react if you're in stealth, mm -hmm. and then fucking backstab them all the yep. live long day. Uh, that that was one of my favorite uh, abilities in Dungeons and Dragons when I was playing the uh, Muppet God. Spawn prisoner. The, the Muppet, the Muppet was God expansion. The uh, stealth, uh, the stealth salad toss. Yeah, when you you can just sneak okay. up. Here, check this out. If he hits me, I can do like a counterattack now. Oh. So the thing is that Souls for a long time has had this thing where if you block, like they, it's almost like they don't want you to block because dodging and parrying is so much more interesting than blocking. But now there's this whole thing where if you just block. And then you hit the R2 button, you'll do a counterattack. And, like, it puts them into a, it gives them, it puts them into a state where you can literally coup de gras them. Yeah, and fatality like, style. Yeah, it's great. Um, so here's, like, up here, here's, like, uh, one of the little dungeons. So here's, like, just a little dungeon off the side of a cave um, that's, like, I don't know, like, three rooms. Uh uh, full of wolves that you can kill and a boss. So here, let me go kill this boss and go murder him. So, so what's we, our objective here overall? The big objective: uh, kill the kill the, get the lords and get the pieces of get the, the Elden pieces Ring. Of the ring, the yes. One Ring. Okay. Yeah, uh, not the One Ring. Not the One Ring. The a, Elden Ring. The Elden Ring. It's literally the name of the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! I shouldn't have done that that way. All right. There you go. How about that? Uh, I'm going to hit this boss with my magic glint blade. I've been carrying this stick around, and you haven't even seen me use it yet. Actually, you know what? I don't want to do it like that. I want to do it like this and this. That way I can still... So, yeah. I got a question for you, speaking of George R. R. Martin. Tell me. What the fuck? No, don't sit down. Got to <laughs> <laughs> there's some kind of there's some kind of thing where if you hold down a button and then do motion controls. Oh my god! <laughs> they'll do like a, an emote instead of <laughs> the thing you want to happen. Uh, okay, tell me about George R. R. Martin. Uh, Beast. Oh, what? Are, I have a question actually. Beast. Uh, are you? How do you feel about people like Patrick Rothfuss and George R. R. Martin, who just take a long time to release the next chapter in a story? A lot of people get very angry about that. How do you feel? Uh, I, um... Like, people are mad. People are really, really mad that George R. R. Martin hasn't released the new book. Uh, so, here's the thing. The authors that I read, they... <laughs> they don't have that problem. They don't have that problem. They put out, like, five books a year. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, it's not that big of a deal. Um, son of a bitch. Get off me, you big But if you face. were reading one of those books and, like, you read four books in a year and the uh -huh. fifth one you're, you're waiting on the fifth one you know there's supposed to be a fifth one and a sixth right and a seventh and an eighth right and then you got four of them in one year and then it just there's a pause it's happened to me before what, what how do you how do you feel about that what is that i just what? read other books well, that is a very measured response. <laughs> so you don't feel that uh, there, there's a there, i have like a, a whole life to uh, yeah. to figure out what to fill it with. Yeah, uh, I don't need to get mad at somebody for. I'd rather have if video games and movies and TV shows and everything has taught me anything over the course of my life. It's that I'd rather have the good version yeah. than the rushed, shitty version. And you don't feel um, like uh, you don't feel like you're owed. No, you, you don't, don't feel like shit. Like this, yeah, th this creator owes you for something you you haven't paid for. No. Yeah, that's a very healthy outlook, and I wish the rest of the world would uh, adopt that, because okay. I was asked about that recently after a little uh, a kerfluffle. Uh, we'll say a kerfluffle involving... Uh, oh, shit. Well, oh, I shouldn't say. Oh, I shouldn't oh, say. Oh, oh, okay. But... Uh, I used up all my fucking magic. Now but I yeah, this guy for real. I would agree. These writers, mm -hmm. they don't know anybody's shit. It's like, yeah, you haven't paid for the book. Now, if I had pre-ordered the book... Based on some promises, like here's the book, you pre-order it, and when it shows up, it's going to be good. But then, you know, it's like, okay, if I bought a book and it was bad, well, then I'm just not going to read the next book. Yeah. You know? 
Yeah. But here's here, here, I, uh, I didn't pre-order it. Like, like for instance, I did pre-order EA's new book, Smash Me in the Balls 2023. 2042. Tw- no, 2023. Oh, okay. It, it's, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's actually... Oh, this, oh, it's legally distinct. It's legally distinct. Uh-huh. Sure, yeah. sure, 20, sure, sure, 2023. Sure. Yeah. And uh, it's very similar to Smash Me and Smash My Balls. It's actually called Smash My Balls. Smash My Balls 2022. Sure. But they tweak it a little bit. You know? Right, so, sure. But 2023, oh, I pre-ordered it. And then when it shows up, the, that book, yeah. there were really only a couple of pages. Yeah. They promised that more pages would be coming. Eventually, though, the, the story was them. actually really good once yeah, yeah, they yeah. finished the story. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, but you, after I pre-ordered it, then the the CEO of EA, you know what happens? What's the, that? What happens when you read this book? The CEO of uh-huh. EA, when you read, when you open the Smash My Balls 2023, the E, the E. <laughs> The CEO of EA shows up at your house, and guess what he does? What, is he, what does he do? He smashes your balls. He smashes yeah. your balls. He smashes your balls repeatedly. Well, that's no good. And then that's shows you pictures you of your family like oh, it's boy. some sort of cartel. Uh-huh. He's like, here's your dad. Guess what? I smashed his balls as well. Oh, my God. Here's your nan-nan. Oh. I smashed her balls as well. Nana, no. I know. <laughs> uh, yeah, and... Uh, and then he says, guess what? Uh-huh. Uh, there's going to be more downloadable content coming uh-huh. Uh-huh. that will make this a complete book. Sure. And you are going to get that downloadable content. Right. Which, you know what it is? It's 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 more people smashing you in the balls oh, no. in different ways. Whoa, that just, this just doesn't sound like a very good deal, But Jason. here's the secret. Spoiler. Okay. It never happens. Oh, Because wow. that would mean EA would have to fulfill a promise. Yes. And so you just actually live with the fear uh-huh. that somebody's going to show up and kick you in the balls repeatedly. Uh-huh. But it never happens. Is You're that, just afraid of it all the time, which is, in a way... Sounds like you shouldn't do business with this company anymore. Yeah. Like, don't I feel don't, like that would be a, a, a better yeah. result. Would be like, maybe wait and see whether the ball smashing is, like, yeah. optional. And then, like, you can make your decision about whether you want to spend your American uh, currency dollars, your do- your your currency <laughs> units, on getting hit in the balls really hard. Yeah. Um, I would. Here's here's a radical thought. <laughs> don't 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 buy the book. Uh huh. That where don't don't buy books published by EA. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, or or wait and wait till you read the reviews yeah. about these the, the, uh, a book that may or may not even be finished. Like for instance, Elden Ring. Mm-hmm. This game when it came out, I checked Metacritic. Unlike when I bought when I pre ordered Smash My Balls twenty twenty three sure or twenty twenty two. I I I I did some research and waited for Elden Ring to come out and I checked Metacritic and guess what. Boner Town. Right. That's what the reviews are saying. It just said it just 100% says, Boner Town. 100% Boner Town. Yeah. Uh, which is which is the mark of excellence. Yes. Is obviously Boner Town. Yeah. I mean, Boner Town doesn't just let any fucking yeah. Tom, Dick, and Jerk Off in. Yeah. Like, you know, you got exclusive VIP access yeah. to Boner Town. Raise your hand if you're still following the metaphor. <laughs> Not you, Jeff. You can keep your hand down. I oh, know we're, in a, yeah. we're in a cutscene. Um, I don't understand the metaphor either. Yeah. That's just me saying, this, this is cool. Don't, don't. And I'm still mad about EA. That's what it's about. I'm still mad about 2042. Hey, man. Uh, I'm still mad. Th- these days, I don't know why anybody... I mean, I, I okay, I got excited in the last 48 hours leading up to Elden Ring, but a lot of that was because a lot of people online, both influencers... By the way, look at that fucking cape. It actually moves like... It's amazing. It actually it moves, moves like, like, a like a cape and yeah. not like fucking yeah. a tarp made out of plastic. Yeah. Um, this game seems like it's finished. Like, it's yeah. a complete game. Well, they've been working on it for, like, six years. So. I mean, which is weird. Did they they release a game that was just, like, done uh-huh. before it came out? Yeah. And what? also, on the first day, they put out a patch that made it run a little bit better, and they did some little tweaks and stuff based on feedback that they got what? right away. Yeah. No. Come on. This is just stupid. No. That's some stupid shit right there. I thought you were going to have to play this broken <laughs> shit and then put it away and then, like, check it out in a year to see if it was worth playing. See if, no. see if they uh, stuck to the roadmap that they yeah. put out three weeks after the game came out that promises to fix it in yeah. a few years. Yeah. Wow. That's this is crazy. I don't, how are they going to stay in business without fucking people? I don't. It's it's a good question. You obviously can't stay in business without fucking people. Did you know that no from software, none of these Souls games have ever had like microtransactions. Like they just put out a game and then like you know, 
a year later, they put out some DLC for $30 for it, and everybody buys it because they like the game so much. Good business practices based on quality, reliable content. And then eventually, the guy that made D D uh, Demon Souls and Dark Souls, Itataki Miyazaki, is now the CEO of From Software because they're like, well, this guy fucking took us from being the Armored Core guys to like a global <laughs> phenomena that everybody knows about and nobody will shut up about. So uh, if you're if you're putting the whole product out there complete and yep. finished, mm -hmm. that's just I that's bad business. I don't see how that's going to work at all. <laughs> nobody does that, Jeff. All the big dogs. Come on. So, by the way, you can now level up. Also, what are they doing releasing a new game like a new new game? Oh, as opposed to, like, a re-release of an old game? Right! Like, as opposed to just spending all their time remastering, uh, like, another game? I really just thought we were going to get Dark Souls 1, like, but really pretty. They already did that. And I'm kind of... They, oh, they, oh, they, they did, did Dark Souls remastered. Wait, they did that? Yeah. And they also had time to make this AAA badass game. Yeah, because they, they oh, outsourced I... Demon Souls remastered to Bluepoint Studios. Did, did, uh, did Bluepoint Studios, like, totally fuck it up, like, in a crazy, crazy, crazy way? Uh, for 90% of humanity, no, for ten percent of the most super fans, absolutely. Uh, okay, but most of the people thought oh, this yeah. is a pretty good revamp, and we like that. Yes. So they didn't put like big googly eyes and make stupid, like have all sorts of like stupid shortcuts just to cash in because maybe the publisher said, "Hey, you guys haven't published anything uh, new since I don't know." Uh, Whatever last last game that came out, you haven't published anything new, so maybe let's 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 shit out a high def remake with really bad graphics. They didn't do that. No, no. What the fuck is this from software doing? <laughs> this isn't how you run a AAA game company in 2022. You're just making video games with original IP that are done and are not full of shit. <laughs> I madness. Never. This is madness. I right here. refuse to believe this. <laughs> what kind of psycho is this Miyazaki person? Uh, horse shit. So, uh, yeah, we got we got our horse. Um, so because this is an open world game, uh, hold on, I'll let me just I'll rearrange some stuff here. Uh, this, and then we're gonna put this there. Uh, so yeah, now um, because this is an open world game that doesn't hate your guts, you can just fucking like call a horse that you know what? that you can just run around on. Uh, also, your horse has a double jump right off the bat, which I fucking love. Double jump in horse. Uh, double jump in horse disappears. And what? What? Yeah. And your horse has horns? Yep. That's a cool horse. And you can fight from the horse. You can, like, you know, run up to weird uh, whatever this is. Yeah. And fucking, like, just take that, you dumb turtle. Ooh, looks like a, looks like a like turtle a without kappa. a shell? Or? Looks like a kappa kind of thing. What no. the fuck is that? Uh, it's just that's, mouths? That's like some sort of living hemorrhoid. Oh, my God. I think people, I think people, I think that somebody might fuck that thing. Uh, what? Wait, what? What's got big, like, it's got big, like, um, fleshlight mouths on it. Didn't you see? <laughs> Like look at the look at the front of this thing, Jason. It's got fleshlight. Nothing mouth. about this. Look at that. Oh well, maybe fuckable. Okay, no, I see. You see, you see now. it now. I was horrified, but no, I get it now. That's. I, I didn't make. Know, no, I didn't. I'm not that guy. I'm not, saying, I'm not either. I don't just make it up from from scratch. I'm not either. Uh, I just thought maybe you were, you know. Sometimes, sometimes a cigar is just a cigar, Jeff. Yes. And, well, I don't oh. know what you're seeing in the Rorschach blot that was that freaky veined hemorrhoid. But then I saw, oh, no, no, there's definitely something fuckable there. Also, it's Jason, weird. Uh, uh, um, you weren't following it because you were mad about stuff. Uh, just, just, I mean, and I, I don't blame you. Yeah. Uh, but, like, one of the things that this game does that I think is just kind of goddamn incredible is um, you can just summon things from the world to help you like we've got this whole camp full of dudes and uh, if that guy blows that horn they will all try to kill me at the same time uh, which is a no which is a no good um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that keep him from doing that um, also we just got a map so now we've got like sweet an actual map oh that uh, looks good too yeah and you can like you can set like a, a waypoint it puts like a big thing in the sky so that's easy to get to waypoints and you can like um, mark like where like traders and, and dungeons and shit are. Oh, this guy saw me. He totally saw me. I was not being nearly as sneaky as I thought. Or, uh, oh, maybe he didn't see me. He thought he saw me? You know what? Just fucking like, how about that? How about, how about that? 
Um, but here, we'll, we'll wrap it up here with this because we're almost out of time. But like one of the things that you can do now is you see the little gravestone over there? You can get these ashes. And if you're in an area that has the gravestone, you can just summon some some fucking helpers from the game to help you play Elden Ring. So if uh, Elden Ring's too hard, you could just like, you can't do it a lot, but are they like, but you don't have like, you don't have to do like a, like a micro microtransaction to no. buy those guys? No, 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 no. Or They're like, just there for, by default. So Or like a, a, a battle pass type thing where you just get like weekly perks that you can buy for small amounts of money? No. This is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> I don't how, know how will they ever make any money? I don't understand <laughs> this at all. Just making quality games and expecting Oops. people to Oops. buy them? Oops. That's stupid. Uh, the other day, I was playing this last night after it midnight released, and I realized that I've been playing the game for three hours and I had never leveled up once <laughs> <laughs> because I wanted to find out what all those systems were first before mm. I started like spending my level ups. But right. yeah, like you can't do this often, but you can bring these fucking like wolf guys in. You can bring them into like a boss fight, you know? Nice. Uh, and you can switch them out. Like you start with these wolf guys, but then you can get like a bunch of dudes or a mage or like some different warriors and they just use your little magic bar uh, and they go away. They, like they don't last forever. But I really, like, you know what this game is to me is that it feels like Dark Souls 2 and 3 were very much iterating on Dark Souls and that Elden Ring is like they took all of the good stuff from all of the Souls games and then they added all the good stuff from Bloodborne and fucking Sekiro and then they addressed, like, the things, you know... Like, there's no way... Uh, playing with a shield sucks, so now playing with a shield is fine. Oh, the game is really hard. Well, if you want to make it easier, you can summon fucking ghost wolves to help you out. Like, <laughs> uh, you nice. know, just all yeah. kinds of, like, really refining stuff um, in a way to just make this, like, the good the good one. So, um, yeah. Anyway, we're going to wrap it up. Uh hit the like subscribe button you know you know the deal you know the youtube deal tell us what you think in the comments down below uh if you want to help us out you can go to patreon.com forward slash rage select uh kick us some bucks in return you get to bonus videos uh all kinds of cool stuff um and rage select uh stays in business jason what would you like to tell the people about uh, hey stay in touch with me friends um <clears throat> go to my website jason Sign up for my newsletter. Uh, it will also uh, take you to uh, my sub stack where I'm going to start uh, publishing some stuff and check all that out. And just uh, you'll hear about all the stuff that I'm working on. I got a lot of big things. A lot of big things. All right. Cool. And join us back here tomorrow for more of the Elden Ring. Uh...